everybody, it's me, Tara and Eileen, and welcome back to our Nancy Drew Let's Play of The Secret of the Scarlet Hand. I feel like we're getting close to the ending, and I am really excited. Um, this has actually been a lot of fun. Uh, I remember, like, not really knowing who the bad guy is in this game, or, you know, just because I never played this one a lot, but I'm actually having a lot of fun with this one. Um, so let's get on into this. Um, we just barely talked to, uh, Chaco Canyon for the first time, and they said, oh, give us some time to, like, look around, figure something out, and then she'll give us a call back. So I'm wondering if I go to bed until tomorrow that, like, a voicemail will, will be on the phone. Um... Those are my thoughts. So we'll go 10 a.m. tomorrow, just so I can go and talk to Henrik if needed. Mm, be chill, please. We also need to figure out Prudence Rutherford's phone number. I wonder if we could figure that out from um, so after this, we'll go and talk to a few people. This is what we need to interrupt the first Jade. You have no voicemail. No voicemail. Let's check the mail. Nothing here. Okay. So, yeah, let's go talk to the boys. And then we'll go to you first. I feel like he is the one who would know. Just because he's an art consultant and she has one of those things. Any news? I'd better get going. Keep up the good work. Or not. And we have no way of getting a hold of Joanna now. Hello. I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. Adios. I know I've looked at that a few times, but I always forget what's on it. Is just wait for that phone call of some sort from Choco. Um, let's see what my computer has to say before calling Bess and George. Because sometimes this will help. See if she's connected with the museum at all. That's all that says. Maybe she would be in. I don't know. Um. Smugglers gave me the key piece. Henrik hit the call in the tomb, got the call. That's it. 
Um, I'm wondering, like, if we have a Hello? File it's me somewhere? again. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest, man? Detective Drew, requesting hint, please. Now that you've found the Pakal carving, you can call Franklin Rose and clear Joanna's name. Okay, you better explain that you can't give the carving back just yet, though. I'll talk to you later, ladies. We'll be waiting for an update. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Some of the most obvious things that I should be doing, I just go over my head. Boswell, and Jackson, and Rose. May I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, how's your investigation coming along? I'm making good progress, and the Pakal carving is safe and sound. But I'm afraid I can't tell you everything yet. What in the world are you talking about? I'm sorry, but I can't explain everything now. I'll take good care of the carving, I promise. What can I say, Nancy? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Do what you have to do, but let's get this mess cleaned up, all right? So you'll call Joanna and invite her back to work? I'll call her right away. Yay. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. She can probably tell me about Prudence Rutherford. Let's go. She's probably already back. I'm just sitting outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want me back? Okay, I'm just walking. Thanks for clearing my name, Nancy. Honestly, I mean, what kind of moron would I be to try and ruin my own exhibit? Anyway, we need to make up for lost time. I need you to go to the storeroom and start unpacking some of those crates. One of the pieces has a fancy security device on it. The code is 0677. Sure thing, Joanna. I'll see you later. Semper ubi sabubi. That's the one that I need to open. Pretty sure there's another jade carving in there. Things are lining up, folks. She wants me to unpack some boxes, but is that like the only one I can really unpack? That's what it looks like. I wonder if I have to call Chaco. You have no voicemail. You have no. Need something? No. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Maybe Henrik, and then if not, then we're gonna go try to call Chaco again um, at my hotel because that's where we got a hold of them the first time. Good hey. afternoon, young lady. You Nothing. rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. Um, I feel like the only thing right now is Chaco. We need the information from Chaco. We also need to figure out how the heck to get a hold of Prudence Rutherford. I've called 
this number so many times now. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. Well, we racked our brains. Finally, one of my staff came up with the original box that the carving was packed in. The piece was encased in a tight foam cast to prevent damage during shipping. I'm not sure how much good it'll do you, but I can send it to you if you like. That just might work. Henrik left Beach Hill as his forwarding address, so I know what to do. I'll send it express. Thank Thanks you. a million, Sheila. Good luck with your investigation. Okay, so lastly... I might just set this to tomorrow. So that the package is here. Imagine like how many days this actually took Nancy to do. Need something? I've got work to do. Go to it. Um, maybe look through here now. information I have on her. <laughs> and nothing else. Maybe it goes in order after I get this one from Chaco, then I'll be like, okay, now I need prudence in this. Hello? It's me again. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest, man? Detective Drew, requesting hint, please. Prudence mentioned some arts organizations in her interview. I wonder if any of them are affiliated with Beach Hill in any way. Affiliated how? Like as donors? I'm not sure. Nancy, see if you can find any mention of those organizations elsewhere in the museum. I'll talk to you later, ladies. Watch, Watch out for stale cookies! cookies. Hmm, I haven't seen anything. Maybe on the board, but I, eh. Okay, so let's go look for an organization. In the uh, article. Okay, I'm just gonna skim through this. Do 
Topeka Commission for the Arts. Topeka Commission for the Arts. A. Topeka Commission for the Arts. That's the organization Prudence Rutherford works for. Okay, so how do I ask her about it? Need something? I've no. got work to do. Bye. Uh, now what? Now what do I do with that information? There's no phone number. Better get going. Bye now. But to Nancy Drew World, she sometimes needs to find the number. Hello. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. And don't be annoyed with me if I'm going to get this pamphlet now. No phone numbers here. Okay, where can we find this information here? Like, I feel like Joanna's office. running around everywhere today. Um, I'm just trying to get another person to check with her.
Sunny June. Don't fail me now. I feel like if there's a phone number somewhere, I would have written it down. I'm just going to try to talk to everyone. Good afternoon, young lady. You rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. We're so close, but yet so far. Joanna, Joanna, tell me. Need something? I need I've got work to do. See you around. Topeka Commission of the Arts. Sorry, but I'm going to call Bess and George again. I don't want to keep just running around doing nothing. It's me again. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest, Nan? Detective Drew, requesting hint, please. Donations to the museum must go through the board of directors in some way. In that case, maybe Franklin Rose knows how to get a hold of Prudence. I'll talk to you later, ladies. Bye. Bye. Don't See ever ya. think of Franklin Rose. Like, I always get stuck on him. Like, of course he would know. He's the board. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? I need to contact a woman named Prudence Rutherford. I noticed she's on the board of the Topeka Commission for the Arts, and that they've donated money to Beach Hill. Any idea how I might track her down? Well, you're in luck. It so happens that Prudence and I sat on the panel of judges for the Kansas Speak No Evil Mime competition for three years in a row back when I lived in Wichita. How's that for a small world? You judged a mime competition? Indeed I did. I haven't talked to Prudence in about 10 years. But let's see if I still have her in this old dinosaur of a Rolodex. Ah, yes, here we go. Got a pen? It's area code 785-555-7279. What's this all about? I think Ms. Rutherford had a run-in with a red-handed thief, much like the one who took the pacal carving. Ha! <laughs> You're a real pro, Nancy. Say, why don't I call ahead and let Prudence know what's going on? That way I can say hello and she'll be expecting you. That would be great, Mr. Rose. Not a problem, dear. Except for you better hurry, hurry, because I'm calling her now. You have reached the villa of Prudence Rutherford. As you may have heard, the sanctity of my home has recently been violated. If you've reached this recording, it means I've gone to my quiet place, so please don't leave a message. You are welcome to try back another time. If you are calling about the corn growers' ball, 
Rest assured that the show will go on as scheduled on the 9th. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to call her, I guess. I wonder if my package is here now. That could have triggered the package. Prudence Rutherford from here. You have no voicemail. Press. You have. Yeah, it doesn't want me to call from here. Sometimes it's like, oh, we could like do other stuff while waiting, but right now we've really completed everything. We can't really wait. This is Nancy Drew, calling from Washington, D.C. I'm trying to reach Prudence Rutherford, please. Oh, yes! Franklin told me you'd be calling. Such dreadful news about Beach Hill. I will do everything in my power to help you catch those rapscallions. To think how they violated the sanctity of my domicile. Good heavens! Your claws caught I'm shirt. sorry to hear about your loss. What can you tell me about the necklace? I can't even think about it. Oh, just the very thought of my precious necklace gone, stranded, orphaned, and in the hands of some dirty stranger makes my blood boil. Where did you purchase the necklace? Good heavens, one does not purchase such a piece. I inherited it from my mother-in-law. But you see, the necklace means much more to me than just a handful of priceless rubies. More? In what way? I had the necklace restrung to include an exquisite jade carving as the centerpiece, a genuine artifact of the ancient Maya. The carving is not only one of a kind, but a Rutherford family heirloom given to me by my great-grandfather when I was just a little girl. What does the jade piece look like? It features a rare glyph no one's been able to give me a precise translation, but most epigraphers have agreed that it has something to do with a snake, the color green, and the direction south. It's terribly fascinating. About the theft, where were you when it took place? At 3 a.m.? Well, I was home, of course. Lost in sweet slumber. I don't grace the social circuit the way I used to. That brazen fiend crept right into the bedroom and took my necklace away. Where was I? Picking peaches in the fruit-laden orchards of my dreams. I feel like such a fool. Was anything else taken besides the necklace? Nothing. Not even my brand new Dada. Synesthetic, interactive, organic journey. Ha! I always knew Dada was overrated. One moment, dear. Off! Off the sofa, you nasty beast! Now! What are you doing? What did I say about the sofa? Bad, bad, naughty bad! I'm sorry, dear, what was I saying? Problems with a dog? What? No, I was speaking to my husband, dear. My second husband. 
soon to become my ex-husband if he continues to crawl on the furniture like that. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Oh, they must have known. The rest of my valuables were left untouched. Frankly, I don't know whether to be grateful or insulted. What about evidence? The first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was this positively ghoulish red handprint on the wall. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A red handprint was left at the scene of the crime at Beach Hill, too. Ms. Rutherford, I'm almost certain that these robberies were committed by the same person. But why? What is so special about these carvings? Miss Rutherford, I'd like you to meet Beach Hill's epigrapher, Henrik Vanderhuyn. Is there any chance you could fly out to Washington for a couple of days? I'm afraid that's out of the question. The annual Corn Growers Ball is just three weeks away, and I'm the head of the steering committee. Besides, this whole thing has left me so out of sorts. I'm in no condition to travel. But Miss Rutherford, surely someone else can step in for you. After all, this case is more important than a barn dance, isn't it? For your information, the Corn Growers Ball is the largest gala event of the year in Topeka. Oh, I told Franklin I didn't want to speak to anyone, but he assured me you weren't the pushy type. I never should have agreed to this. Oh, Goodbye. Great. Do I call her back? Rutherford Estate, Prudence speaking. Miss Rutherford, this is Nancy Drew. Please don't hang up. I'm afraid this case has got me a little wound up, but that's no excuse for bad manners. Please forgive me. I'm just very anxious to figure out why this thief is stealing Maya carvings, and I don't have much to go on. As I said, this robbery was a trauma for me, and I do not wish to get deeply involved in the investigation. However, the insurance company made this dreadful replica of the necklace with the idea that I would wear such a thing to public functions. Please! But I could send that to you, if you'd like. Oh, that would be wonderful! How soon could you have it here? You have it tomorrow or the next day. My secretary will have the address of the museum. Now, if that is all you require, young lady, I will need to attend to other pressing matters. Thanks a million, Miss Rutherford. I won't let you down. Call me Prudence. Oh, and Nancy, when you find the villains who did this to me, do me a favor and give them a sound thrashing. You're coming through loud and clear. Bye. Okay, so we have to end it here for today. I thought maybe we would be able to finish, but mm, unfortunately not. Um, we are really close though. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have courage and be kind and we shall see you all next time.